Right now at 5.30, the NYPD says a man is dead by suicide after opening fire on officers who were serving an arrest warrant in Harlem. Good evening once again. I'm Maurice Dubois. Welcome back. I'm Mary Calvi. Investigators say the man who fired at police was involved in an amber alert we told you about in June. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has more from the scene in Harlem. Dozens of cops rushed to the scene on West 147th Street, where police say 23-year-old Antonio Armstrong died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. They got it on lock. It started around 8.30 when officers with the Manhattan North Warrant Squad arrived to arrest Armstrong for violating an order of protection, stemming from a June Amber Alert when Armstrong grabbed his toddler daughter by force from her mother. The person they were attempting to arrest suddenly produced a gun and opened fire towards our officers. Fortunately, none of the officers were struck. One of our officers returned fire as the team began a tactical retreat down the hallway. Chief Harrison says cops were only 15 feet away when Armstrong opened fire with this 9mm handgun. A two-hour standoff followed, with police negotiators eventually losing contact. A check of the apartment showed Armstrong lifeless on the floor. The individual appeared to have a self-inflicted gunshot wound to his head. This woman in the white hoodie was inside the apartment for at least part of the standoff. She was not harmed. The incident also brought the NYPD Force Investigation Division to the scene, founded in 2015 to track and analyze every instance when a cop uses force. There were moments of tension and uncertainty as the standoff unfolded. They said, you know, Sister Aisha, you can't stand here. Get behind a car. Uh, there's an active shooter. Uh, he has access to more than one window, or I understand he moved from one room to the other. So there was great concern for the community safety. And there's relief. No cops were injured by the gunfire directed their way. In Harlem, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. And police sources also identify Antonio Armstrong as a suspect in two shootings, including the September 13th killing of a 21-year-old in Harlem.